The recession is now playing out. Hey everybody, Scott Walters, welcome to the channel. If you're new, I wanna thank you for coming. If you're returning, I wanna thank you for your continued support. Before we get into today's red hot topic, I'm gonna to politely ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Please watch to the end for my final thought. Hit the bell icon so you're notified when new videos are released. It is very important to stay close to the channel in these very, very tricky times. All right, folks, welcome to the channel. Always an honor and a privilege to be with you. I hope you're all doing great. Buckle up and strap in. I got a hard hitting pull no punches, no sugar coating it, no rainbows and sunshine. I'm just going to give it to you and give it to you straight. And friends, we got a good one to unpackage today as the recession now is playing out. Congratulations to anybody that stayed centered and surrounded with like minded people. Iron will continue to sharpen iron as we blow the lid off the U.S. economy, the U.S. housing market, and everything we need to do to read between the lines and look. Between the cracks, we've got some big cracks today, friends. Buckle up and strap in. We are entering the holidays. And holidays is typically the best time of year for all our online e-commerce companies, all our brick and mortar malls, retail. Everybody enjoys Black Friday, all Cyber Monday, you name it. Hiring, oh, you, you you see it all the time. UPS, everybody hires during the holidays. Not this one. Not this holiday. We've talked about this before. A recession will play out by Christmas this year. It's playing out right in front of us in black and white. Are you awake? Are you reading between the lines? Are you looking between the cracks? We've seen reports of the amount of companies throwing stuff overboard, people. People getting thrown overboard. And the challenge, the side note to this, is these people that are being laid off, being thrown overboard. So you, com big companies like Amazon, who we're going to talk about today, their bottom line is, in a, is affected, is, is bad. They, they don't care about their employees. They care about their bottom line and they're throwing people overboard. And here's the challenge. When everybody drank the stimulus Kool-Aid through the crisis, remember that thing? Whew. Guess who those people were, those employees? A lot of tech workers, a lot of white collar workers, white collar wage earners. Those people bought homes in the Heights. We talked about this. This is all brewing. This is going to trickle into the housing market. We, I warned. We warned. You guys helped me. Good job. Thank you. We warned that this bubble wouldn't sustain itself. Now, this is the biggest thing we've ever seen, in my opinion, in history. We are laying people off leading into the holidays. That is the time historically. Buckle up and strap in, hire extra workers, friends. We're gonna have a big holiday season this year. Nope, 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 nope. People are not spending this year. People are, they can't. Inflation's killing them. They're running on fumes. They got bamboozled by the wealth effect, the casino climate that the crisis delivered when we doubled the amount of money in circulation and paid people to stay at home and send them checks and please go shopping with those checks and buy merchandise. That was your Christmas. Whew, insane. Aren't you glad that you halfway expected this stuff? I always say if you halfway expect something, you'll be less blindsided, less paralyzed by fear as it plays out. So what we're getting reports on now, like as if we needed anything else, but we, you know, to drive our point home, Amazon is now, they're normally hiring. This is the time where they're scrambling for workers, seasonal help. I remember during the crisis when they were hiring all those people. I ran into people face to face. Oh, I work for Amazon. I travel around in my travel trailer and I go from this center to that center and this center. And oh, that's great. I travel all around America and I work in Amazon facilities. Now those people are getting thrown overboard, just bought houses, just bought travel trailers, just bought cars, just finance stuff to the gills. Even that low interest rate isn't protecting them anymore. This one is getting pretty serious in my opinion, unless you halfway expected it. You know, sometimes it takes living through a housing bubble and a crisis and a recession to be awake in these times. I understand now as a trained salesman, the psychology of sales and the psychology of people. If you haven't lived through a downturn before, I understand. Like, I don't blame anybody. I had to do it too. You're going to learn. I'm just really glad I learned my lesson in 08. So in this 2023 recession and potential depression, 
which I've never lived through. Like I'm just as much at risk on some levels as everybody else. Like I don't know how far in my life a depression will reach, but it'll reach there. But I know if I'm prepared mentally, physically, spiritually, and financially, I'm going to weather the storm pretty good in this one. Like I've always said, be well, Warren Buffett said it, but we say it here, be greedy when others are fearful, fearful when others are greedy. We saw greed sweep the markets. We go ahead and got on the sidelines. Now, Fear and panic's gonna sweep these markets. When there's blood in the streets, that is the time to buy, not in the height of the biggest artificial created housing bubble ever produced in history. So that's what we're seeing now, friends. Everybody's laying off, but I think one of the biggest warning signs right now, Amazon. Amazon is the biggest company like in the world in, in terms of e-commerce and online sales. They're throwing people overboard in the busiest season when they're normally hiring. They've never laid people off. Let me repeat. Amazon has never in the history of their company done layoffs in the holidays. They've always been hiring. This is a flip-flop. No surprise, right? We've had so many flip-flops. Flip-flops in the economy, flip-flops in the housing market, flip-flops in the crypto market, flip-flop in the stock market. Everything has flipped. It's now playing out. I want to invite everybody to stay centered and surrounded as we stay ahead of this and continue the conversation so it's less blindsiding as it plays out and we're able to operate within it more efficiently because we halfway expected it. We're going to learn as we go on a lot of this stuff. My, my message typically is throw out the playbook, ignore the data. This is going to come down to the psychology of sales, the psychology of people. You'll need a little street smarts, a little book smarts, combination. I think you're going to be able to navigate through this quite nicely. But the realities are this, friends. Rich people didn't get rich buying in the height of the biggest real estate bubble ever produced in history. They got rich buying outside the bubble. And that's what we're going to continue to gear people to do because it's not only what we need, it's in fact what we deserve. And final thoughts that come to you as a friend, as a content creator. Somebody wants to see you not only win in real estate, win in life. Understanding this is the biggest bubble ever produced in history. When you see companies like Amazon laying people off, heed to the warning. A recession is knocking at the Door. We're going to continue to stay centered and surrounded and navigate through this one because it's it's all we can do. There's really no other choice. And it's there's no re I want everybody to remain like calm and poised and, and, and enjoy our quality of life the best of our ability. I just know for me personally, being an, a debt slave and, and thinking a house is going to fix everything if I only had the right house, it won't. I fell for that trap before. Today I have a great life, but it wasn't. It isn't because of my house or my stuff. All those things are really quite meaningless to me now. It's free time that I put the most value on, so I can come here and spread a message, hopefully of hope, of awareness, whatever I can to communicate something that's going to help people, especially in these very tricky times. So congratulations to everybody that continues to support their cha the channel. I'm going to continue to do my best to report on it every step of the way. If you appreciate the content, I want to humbly ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Social media links in the description of this video if you'd like to follow me there, along with links to channels I've appeared on I think you might enjoy. If you need help buying or selling real estate here in America, I have the biggest network of top rated agents in Ready the nation. to assist you, there's an email in the description for you as well. If you're watching from your television set today and you enjoyed this video, I know you're going to love the next video and there's an easy subscribe icon for your convenience. As always, thank you for your time. Please go make it count today. I will see you on the next video.